Welcome everyone to Piggy Power. And we're going to answer one of the biggest questions on the lips of anyone that owns a 306 2 litre HDI or 206 or 406 2 litre HDI or any other HDI. The question on people's lips is can I run it on veg? I got lots of veg oil, it's a pound a litre, and I could put it in my car and I could run it because I saw this thing on Instagram. Well, it's well known that the early 306s did run on vegetable oil. They had a slightly different engine and fuel system, as described in a video that I'll put a link up there. The differences. So, let's answer three questions, or maybe eight, or five. I'll answer a few questions. One, um, is it legal to run my car on vegetable oil? Yes, it can be perfectly legal, depending on how much you use, and so long as you record it. It can even be used for business purposes. Uh, but you have to record it and blah 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 paperwork. But generally speaking, yes, it's legal. Can I run my 2 litre HDI on vegetable oil? Yes! But wait, do not run away now and fill your car with vegetable oil. Wait, question three. Should I run it? See the difference there? Can I? Yes. Should I? Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe yes. As a test, I've used recently uh, some fuel, as we all do when we're driving, and I put about 30% oil in. So I put 20 litres of diesel in, and then 10 litres of oil in. I've done a few tanks like that, or a few sort of loads of fuel, and with the knowing the risks, the risks are, it's not going to blow up, but the injection components on these later diesels have much finer tolerances. Vegetable oil has sort of no lubricating possibilities other than your frying pan, so it's not ideal and it can gunk up at times too. So you could ruin those components and you could break down. The things I noticed, I have a very healthy 2 litre H dice and 100,000 miles but running beautifully and I noticed that it took just a moment longer, a hair longer to start in the mornings when it was cold, only fractionally but that would get worse potentially in the winter. I also noticed that there was pretty much no power difference. It seemed the same to me. 30% uh, this is, we're talking. And I also noticed it smelled like a chip shop, but that's pretty regular. Even the 30% you could smell it. Something that really has swayed me, and now I'm not on vegetable oil at all, no percentage at all, is the economy dropped. Now my driving habits are pretty much the same. I've pretty much kept the same driving habits. If anything, I've been driving slightly more economically because of fuel prices. And I noticed that I dropped it quite a bit. Uh, probably enough to almost not make it worth putting vegetable oil in, especially for the risks involved. So here's what I say. If you've got a car you don't care about and you don't care if it breaks down, then you could probably put up to about 50% vegetable oil in with a mix of diesel, throw some uh, splash of two-strike oil in there as well, and you're probably going to do all right for a while. But be honest, tell the next guy that buys it off you you've done that, because it will have shortened the lifespan of the components in the engine. Principally, the fuel pressure, uh, well, regulator, yes, but the, the main high pressure fuel pump and the injectors, which are really, really fine tolerances. You'll be all right in the tank, the pickup pump, that'll be fine. Um, everything else, the actual engine, probably be fine. I wouldn't recommend any more than 50%. Old engines, you could put 100% in, be fine. That's the old 1.9 XUD engines. Amazing that you could just run that stuff in, but they're not much around to find those anymore. I know some people are considering putting those engines in these later cars, fine, do what you like. But for these two litre HDIs, yes, you can run it on veg oil. Yes, it's legal. But think about the consequences. There will be consequences, as mentioned. It will smell, it might take a little longer to start, but only a hair of it. You will drop economy, and potentially down the line, you're gonna to have to replace your fuel system, the high pressure fuel pump and the injectors. So keep those things in mind with your choice of whether to bloop, 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 put the vegetable oil in or not. Thanks for watching, Piggy Power. Hope this proves helpful. I've had so many people asking this question. I think it's just easier I did the video and pop this up. So I hope it's been good and um, safe driving out there. Safe saving. And um, what else do we say at the end of a video? I don't know. Bye. <laughs>